Well, hello everybody. I thought I'd take a few minutes to share one of my favorite pieces of training equipment with you, the humble steel pipe. Uh, this steel pipe weighs about four pounds. It's one inch by 30 inches. It's a galvanized steel pipe. I bought it at the hardware store for around 10 bucks. Um, and I was first inspired to train with the steel pipe after I saw some footage of Top Dog training with the steel pipe back in the day. The one he was using was a solid piece of steel and it reportedly weighed anywhere from 7 to 10 pounds. And I think the benefits of training with the steel pipe are really twofold. The first is that as you train the movements that you use uh, in your stick fighting or your sword fighting with a steel pipe, uh, you make them just by necessity because it's heavier, you make them more efficient and um, you're also able to, um, when you scale the weight down to rattan or to uh, an aluminum blade, uh, you're able to go much quicker. And so just the increase in speed and efficiency, I think, is, uh, is one that, uh, that you'll see from, from training with the steel pipe. And the other benefit, I think, is the benefit to your, all the muscle groups that are involved in the training, uh, in the fighting that you do. So all those stabilizer muscles in your shoulders and all the, the, the muscles, um, uh, the, the more minor muscles that you're using when, uh, when you're swinging a stick or a sword, all of those get, uh, get a really nice workout with the steel pipe and so they, they get stronger and I think you're uh, maybe a little bit uh, less prone to injury um, by training with, uh, with the steel pipe. So that being said, the question um, is what uh, specific movements should you train? And I think really the limits are, are that of your imagination. Um, I personally like uh, breaking the patterns down into maybe three to five movements and um, training them uh, on both sides. In terms of the specific movements I like, I like to use uh, a jab, so training the jab, I like training a redondo, so this, this circular movement. I like training the slashes. I like training the blocks. I also like training the malayu. And um, really, uh, I, I think um, in terms of just some examples of patterns I like, I really like Lamenco 5, and that's of course the, the forehand jab, the frondo, the slash, the backhand jab, the brondo, the slash, and you've got the cross step happening as well. Uh, I also like just the five angles of attack. And you can, uh, you can also vary, of course, the uh, the angles. Maybe incorporate these rising strikes as well. Start to work these blocks in. And again, I like to just create a pattern, maybe three to five movements, and uh, set my interval timer for one minute rounds, and then just work that pattern on both sides. And, um, and I'll switch the patterns up, so I'll go through different patterns. And uh, I'll do it for anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, I think it's a great, uh, a great, um, a great way to train, uh, definitely something worth incorporating into your own routine, and I uh, hope you found this useful.